What's up everybody, Eric with the Off Grid Guru here. In case you didn't know, I've been hyping up a Earthship build that I'm about to participate in and this is the video covering the first week of that project. Behind me, I've got a construction site that we've been working hard on all week and I've got footage to show you. This is the first time that I'm actually going to be documenting one of the builds that I participate in live. This is really exciting. If you don't know what an Earthship is, Earthships are completely self-sufficient houses that have been built all over the world, primarily out of recycled materials, solar power, growing their own food, capturing their own rainwater. They're awesome. It's been on my bucket list to build on one of these job sites professionally, and I am here now today doing that. Anyways, for the next three months, I'm gonna be posting updates. And if you wanna stick with me through the process, then be sure to subscribe to the Off Grid Guru and turn on notifications so that you'll know every time a video gets released. This is week one for you. Nice hot summer day, smoke coming down into the Taos Valley the last several days. So I'm a little hoarse, a little scratchy. Okay, so today my number one focus is layout. So we wanna get the interior dimensions of the square footage of the home based on the architectural plans. What we're really focused on is this right here today. Um, we wanna make sure that these 490s are accurate. So when we bring our tires all the way down the back wall, we're also gonna establish what they call a three tire turn right here. Because tires are round and these corners are curved, we're gonna place a tire right on top of this stake. So we're gonna go right through the crosshairs, right down through the center of the tire. We want our interior measurement based on course one or also known as base course. Then we're gonna start coming up as we batter back. So the room will feel bigger as we go up. As we pound all the tires, we're gonna pound the tire level to itself and level to each other on either side. So we wanna pound 38 tires. We're going with the bigger tires, pretty much all of them. And then we're gonna to go to smaller tires. But after all this brain work is out of the way, it goes quick. It's just now muscle work. All right, so it's day six on the job. I'm really tired. And sometimes it can feel like the build goes really slow just because of the technique we're using. You know, rammed earth and old used car tires, it's not for everybody. Even though tires might not be the most effective way to build, you can streamline them once you get the hang of it. And the more experience that you get in any building medium, the more effective it becomes and the more quick it goes up. You know, you understand how to use the material, the limits of the material. You know, one of the things that I've been noticing about tire pounding and one of the things that we've been doing is um, minimizing on the amount of uh, using the sledgehammer. You know, in the beginning, it seems like, okay, let's just sledgehammer the whole way. And then after a while, you get smart and you're like, okay, let me first use my hands to pack it as much as I can. And then I developed this really effective technique of just going around and using the pickaxe to get leverage so that I could push dirt under the sidewalls. And you can pretty much puff up the tire to a pretty good firmness before you even need to use the sledgehammer. And then, I mean, I'm talking like 90%, you know, 90% of packing out the tire is just shoveling the dirt in, kicking it in, you know, using some minimal force, maybe a small hammer, but I didn't even use a small hammer. I just used my feet, kicked it in, used the pickaxe to get the sidewall up. And then just in the end, when you want to level it to the tire next to it, you're going to get that sledgehammer to give it a little bit of pop so that it comes up that extra quarter inch or half inch you need. Anyways, we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll be complaining after another week of tire pounding. Found some cool animals while we were <laughs> working out here. There was like a small frog that, that was really weird. I didn't expect it because it's such a desert. And then also this really big mole cricket came by and said hello. And those things are huge. If you haven't seen them, Google mole cricket. They're so big. You know, we got two cooling tubes in, which is going to be the ventilation for the building. So those trenches were dug and the cooling tubes were put in. The cooling tubes are fully buried at this point, so you can't even see them. You just have the opening here and the opening over there. So that wraps up week one. We've got three months more to get this build to finish. So stay tuned because it's gonna be exciting. We're working hard and I'm gonna be showing you a glimpse of a real 
hard work inertia build. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. We're going to be working hard on this thing for three months, so stay tuned. Also, a really great way to learn is to build one yourself. That's why I created the Earthship Model Kit. I wanted to put an Earthship in everyone's hands. I took everything I learned at the Earthship Academy and boiled it down into a 32-page, full-color, easy-to-understand booklet, which give you the basics of the Earthship Six Principles that make them some of the most sustainable buildings in the world. This educational package has been presented at the Earthship Biotexture Academy and in classrooms all around the world. So click the link below to learn more. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.